Who jury selection now underway in former President Donald Trump's hush money trial. After hearing hours of pretrial arguments, we have team coverage for you tonight. Trump's notoriety will make selecting 12 jurors and six alternates incredibly difficult, as you can imagine. Wish to Summer Knowles in the studio now as this historic trial gets underway. Summer. Yeah, guys, the judge has said that the key in picking a jury is whether prospective jurors can assure the court that they will set aside any personal feelings or biases and render a decision based solely on the evidence and the law. The day actually began, though, with the judge denying a defense request to recuse himself from the case after Trump's lawyers said he had a conflict of interest. But as far as the jurors, after hearing some basics about the case and jury service, the prospective jurors will be asked to raise hands if they believe they cannot serve or be fair and impartial. Those who do so will be excused, according to Merchant's filing last week. Now, the rest will then be eligible for answering 42 pre-approved questions about the case. They include asking if the potential juror has any strong feelings about Trump or the case or has attended any pro or anti-Trump rallies. Based on those answers, either side can then ask the judge to eliminate people for cause if they meet certain criteria. Now, they can nix up to 10 potential jurors and two prospective alternatives alternates without giving a reason. This is political persecution. This is a persecution like never before. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. And again, it's a case that should have never been brought. It's an assault on America. And that's why I'm very proud to be here. This is an assault on our country. Now, Trump's lawyers have repeatedly sought to delay the trial. Among other things, they claim the jury pool is tainted and the case should be moved elsewhere. An appellate court will hear the change of venue motion in the coming weeks. Now, Trump has pleaded not guilty to falsifying business records. He faces up to four years in prison if he is indeed convicted. We'll keep you posted. Stu, back to you. Thank you. The trial for the former president comes just 29 weeks before the November general election and just 13 weeks out from the Republican National Convention. The road ahead to those key dates now riddled with legal potholes. West 2 News political reporter Greg Fox here to continue our live team coverage today. And Greg, most Americans consider criminal charges a serious matter. They do. According to a new Reuters Ipsos poll, nearly two-thirds of voters in this national survey believe the charge in the hush money case are serious and at least half say the charges of hiding classified documents, the Georgia case to allegedly overturn the 2020 election results and the federal election interference case are all serious and could affect the way they vote. So the 34 counts in former President Donald Trump's hush money trial represent more than a third of the 88 total counts he's facing in four separate criminal trials. If convicted, legal experts say on a first offense, prison time would be unlikely. The chair of the Orange County Republican Party tells me she believes voters will see the Trump trials as a Justice Department scheme to help Joe Biden win re-election. There's no other campaign tool for Joe Biden. He can't even campaign for himself. We believe it's the President Trump had the administration that delivered for people in the economy, closing the border and making sure that our country is safe and respected throughout the world. The case that appears to be troubling voters most is the stashing of hundreds of classified documents at Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Trial on those 40 counts could begin as soon as next month, and a new Reuters Ipsos poll shows 66 percent of voters think Trump is too risky to receive classified documents. Among just Republicans, 35 percent believe the risk is too great. Also, Republican voters were asked at what point they would not vote for Trump. If convicted, 24 percent, and if imprisoned, 37 percent. The head of the Orange County Democratic Party says the survey indicates voters want stability. We've had a lot of issues, uh, both internally with uh, domestic terrorism, and we've also had, as we're seeing, active wars happening in the Middle East and Ukraine. We need a commander in chief who's able to put aside everything that's going on and make sure that they focus on keeping Americans safe. An even more pressing question is, how will the former president be able to pay off half a billion dollars in civil judgments, having just obtained a $175 million bond to give him time to work through his criminal cases and potential fines if convicted of felonies? Some have been wondering if the former president is convicted and imprisoned and then reelected, can he pardon himself? And the answer to that is yes, for the two federal cases, but not for the Georgia election case and not for the hush money case that began today. Nancy.
All right, Greg and West 2 will continue to closely follow all of the legal cases against the former president. Download the free West 2 News app. Turn on those alerts to get breaking updates on all of these cases sent straight to your phone.